Check, check, test, one, two, one, two, check. Got my lab mic, got the overhead, uh, my, my cheap condenser mic, and uh, Johnny Pink. This is, yes, my little green screen studio. And I have a new musical toy that I'm pretty excited about. I have not opened it yet. I haven't even looked at it. I know what it looked like online. And uh, if you've seen some of my other videos for my music videos, uh, a couple of my favorite 12 strings are my Lyle and my Ibanez. Those are early 70s lawsuit model copies of, of Gibson guitars. I absolutely love the way they sound. And I got them inexpensive. Well, at that time, they're worth quite a bit of money now. But I got them inexpensively at uh, pawn shops or whatever it was when we were out playing, when we were out touring. I, I Oh, I need to buy that. So I, would bu I bought it and it came home with me. So... This is my new toy. This came in straight from UPS today. I think I ordered it two days ago and I ordered it from the California shop. They have one that's also in China, but I ordered it from California. Uh, when, I, when we used to travel, I would loosen all the strings. And um, normally when you fly, uh, most guitar players, I think, do that. But anyway, so I don't know. This is still completely sealed. Haven't yet opened it. Came in about an hour ago. So let me get this unboxed, get it tuned up. And we'll turn on a couple of my favorite mics, not just my lab mic, and we'll see what it sounds like. All right, now in fairness, I'm trying to do this before the air conditioning comes back on because I wasn't really set up to record in, in a real nice way. I'm excited, I wanna get it done. But I do wanna jump back in here to say, there's a soft case in here. It was so extremely well packed inside that. And then inside here, there's more packing. And yes, the strings are loose. So, now I'm going to pull it out, and now I'm going to tune it up. I'm very excited. Let's see what this sounds Let's, um, yes, I'm excited. I'm not even having trouble thinking. So I'm going to finish unpacking this, get it tuned up, turn the air on so this room cools off, and then I'll be back in two seconds. There it goes. It just kicked on for me. Can't beat that, except it won't be on when I'm recording the rest of it because I want to get a really good sound. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Recording this mic here and my other AKG up there, which is actually my favorite one. So how I would normally record is I've got coming in through my phone and my earphones underneath my headphones. I've got the prior tracks that I would listen to. And then here, what I'm recording is coming back to my big headphones in the Zoom, uh, through my task cam so that I can actually hear it. It's not quite like being in the studio because in the studio you can punch in, hey, let me redo that section. I don't have that option. It's all live. It's one take. Go back, do it again until I find what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record. I'm going to go through it twice with the track for my next song that I'm going to send to Jeff and I'm going to mix it once with a this AKG which is my favorite and once with this AKG which I like you know some things work better than others what I've noticed now first I'm going to say that the name on something to me means absolutely nothing it's do I like it does it perform for me and so when I saw this I thought this is absolutely beautiful there is a link to the company that I bought this from down uh, in the description over there if you want to check them out so what I like from right here I am really, really enjoying it. It has a, a rich sound to it. The first thing I've noticed is these strings are too heavy for my little fingers, so I am gonna switch those out. I'm probably gonna go to a set of 10s. Uh, phosphor bronze are my favorite. I like how bright they are. And it'll either be the Everlees, I, they're just nice and bright, or I will be going with, yes, it is really, really loud here. And when they're racing out there, it's even worse. Um, either Everly's or Martin Marquis. Those have always been my favorites. I'm curious, just just straight up with no with no processing or anything. And these are new strings, so they are going to go out of tune. I'm not worried about that. I was never in tune when we played live anyway. Um, so let me let me pull up this track. This is the next song. Four, two, two, three, four.
and then the whole band will come in right there. But um, let me go mix this up, and we're going to listen to it together because I this is the first time I played it. I really like it. Again, these strings are a little too heavy for me. Let's listen to what we have. There's a link down in the description to the company that I bought this from. They have both a Chinese store and they have a California store. And I'm looking for comments. I want to know what you think of it. All right, but let's listen to it and do a little bit of production on it. Here we go. Two, two, three, four. Too, that I eventually that I eventually want to redo. So let me tell you the names, and I wrote it down right here. So I do have my cheat sheet. Um, these are all handmade guitars, and they are phenomenal. I am really, really, really impressed with this. It sounds amazing. It's you know no guitar. I don't care who makes it is perfectly intonated. You just can't do it. Uh, there's going to be one string that you might have to tune flat or sharp depending on what key you're playing in and if you're recording it if it's live it doesn't really matter and that's why I make jokes that I was always out of tune it is the nature of an acoustic guitar that you, you just can't do it anyway um, and I've had the opportunity to play amazing Martins which I've had in my career one that I liked the sound of and I've always gravitated towards something that that I like the sound of not necessarily the name on it. If I like the way it sounded, like um, live, my I had a Carlo Rebelli that I bought at, at Sam Ash. That was my favorite guitar. And uh, for years, that was my live playing touring guitar. Anyway, so um, the China store is CH Guitars. And again, there's links down below. And the California store where they ship from is called Solid Guitars USA. It's the same company. Um, they, they ship very quickly. All handmade stuff. I'm really, really impressed. No, I'm not being paid for this. I bought this with my own money for the China store. It says make an offer. I did. I tried to get a discount and they wouldn't do it. And I, I respect that, man. You guys work hard on this stuff. It sounds... I haven't tuned this since the other day. See, the D, and, and this is like this on almost all guitars I've played. But that's the nature of intonation on, on everything. Anyway, I want to say thanks for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. You are welcome to hit the subscribe button if you are so inclined. And if not, that's cool too. Uh, again, I'm not being paid for this. I just think this is a phenomenal guitar. I love the way it sounds. Uh, I'm going to put some lighter strings on here for the recording. This that I did was just quickly to do a review on this. There's a link down below to all the photos that I've taken for this too. They're the same photos that you saw at the head, but they were coming up so quick that you really weren't able to tell what it is. Thank you for watching. Man, please come back and check out the full production of this song uh, when it's done. Jeff will be playing on it with me. At least I hope so. Jeff, please play with me. And uh, there will be a lot more guitars going on other than just this one, but you will hear and see this one on in that production. So thanks a lot. You guys have a fantastic day. Johnny Pink, we'll see you.